Hey guys, Vigoman here and welcome back to another video. Today we are building a desert house. Due to the new rules of the FTC, I want to make sure that today's video is not child friendly, so I will say the word. So with that out of the way, let's get into the building. Keep in mind guys, this is not a tutorial, it is a video where I show you how I built this. Feel free to follow along, but it's not meant to be a block by block tutorial. The first thing that I want to do is to build the biggest tower in the back of the building. This is a 5x5 five five square with strip birch on all of the corners and then sandstone in the middle. We're just going to raise this up to make it two floor high and then add a little border in between using the cut sandstone and then put in a couple of windows. For the top I want to do a really cool uh, crenellation using clay block to add some color to this uh, and then just detail it a little bit. I am also going to add some smooth sandstone to the mix to mix up the pattern and texture of this build. The next thing that I want to do is to add a little extension to the tower in the front of it. This is again going to be a 5x5 five five area, but it's only going to have one floor. Again, just using sandstone, no blocks on the corners here, again, to make it look a little different here. I'm going to have a couple of windows and doors and then a nice little crenellation on the top to keep the theme going and it also adds a little bit of a difference to this. This will also be used as a balcony which you can enter from the tower we built earlier. Then I am going to add another extension to this build, again a 5x5 five five area. This is going to be a little taller than the second thing we built but it's going to be shorter than the tower and that is to make some variation and asymmetry here is also not going to be placed on the same grid as the rest which again adds a little asymmetry which I think is really cool. Uh, this build here is also going to be having some taller windows and having a top which is covered in grass and leaves and stuff which I just think makes this build come so much to life. You also realize that I'm using some end stone here. That again is to change up the texture, change up the color and make the build come alive a lot more which is something I really like to do from time to time. The final thing that we are going to do for this build here is to add the details which really makes this build come alive. The first thing I want to do is add a little sun shadow area uh, in the front between the two lower parts which is going to be like a little porch I guess using the new campfire block which is just beautiful. Uh, we are going to add another one of those on the top of the second build, the lower part, which has like this uh, red and green carpet things, which again adds a little shadow and adds a lot of color, which I think is super important. And then just adding some barrels and composters and leaves here and there to, to make, uh, make it look better and make it feel more lived in. So that is it guys, a small, simple and might I say a very cute desert house. I really like this, hope you guys do as well. If so, make sure to leave a like down below, I really do appreciate that. And if you haven't done already, make sure to subscribe. It's been Vigoman and I'm out.